You know, when you're growing up, the sky's the limit when it comes to deciding what you want to do with your life. The dreams, though, don't always become reality. For example, Savannah's <laughs> dream to join the cast of Girls. <laughs> not going to happen. No, no, to be honest. But NBC's <laughs> Harry Smith found one man whose career goes above and beyond what he could have ever hoped for. You guys are going to love this story. When I was a kid, I was I dreamt about becoming a truck driver, cross country, or maybe the tuba player with the Chicago Symphony. Well, my life did, in fact, take a little bit of a different turn. And when we heard of a musician in the New York City area who achieved his dream and then exceeded it beyond his wildest imagination, we had to check it out. When it comes to pop music, the distance from Mulcahy's Pub in Wanta, Long Island to Madison Square Garden in Manhattan is immeasurable. It may take a commuter less than an hour on the train, but it's a journey that's taken performer Mike Del Judas his entire life. And Mulcahy's, Mike leads a Billy Joel cover band. He's been doing this for 15 years. His band is called Big Shot, and everyone on the island knows how good they are. Maybe it doesn't hurt that both Mike and Billy Joel grew up out here. Can you put in words what the music means to you? It's the story of my life growing up. It means everything to me. And it doesn't hurt, Mike plays piano. I've sang Piano Man a lot over the years, you know. It's nine o'clock on Saturday. Almost entirely self-taught, Mike has been playing music in bars since he was in high school. Did you think when you were a kid, I'm gonna be on the big stage one day. Yeah, I mean, I used to have a, you know, my mother's old vacuum cleaner with the pipe that would just go up and I would make believe that was my microphone. I would sit in front of it, play air guitar and, you know, sing and jam out. That's a dream that starts when you're young and it never goes away. Mike also composed his own songs, but by the year 2000, he was pretty close to giving up on being a singer-songwriter. But covering Billy Joel paid the bills and let him do the thing he loved most, play music. And I said to myself, you know what, if this is it, this is all that I have, I'm grateful for what I have. As Big Shot's reputation grew, several of Billy Joel's actual band members started showing up and then started sitting in. They still do. Eventually, Mike started filling in for Billy at rehearsals, and late last year, Mike was asked to travel with the band to Europe. I kind of just like, you know, are you blanking kidding me? <laughs> then it happened. Billy Joel asked Mike to join his band. Everybody loves you now. I said, you have inadvertently provided for my family for the last 20 years, and you know, thank you very much, you know. And with class, he just looks over and goes, no, thank you. You, know, you kept my music, keep my catalog alive. So today, when Billy Joel is in residency at Madison Square Garden or wherever he performs, there's Mike, the guy from the cover band, living the dream. <sighs> it's unfathomable to me. I can't tell you what it says about his character. You have a guy that's up here, looking out for a guy down here. Just a little smile is all what else can you say about him? I got a great boss. Maybe it says something about Mike, though, too. About being the right man for the job. Just look at his resume. That's awesome, wow. right? Oh, you want to stand up? He's here. not down here anymore. No, 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 no. no. He tours. He's a regular part of the band, and so Big Shot has to adjust their schedule to the Billy Joel schedule. Ah, you know, wow. appearance-wise, you could take on the same role there. Yeah. Can, you, can you play Excuse piano? Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I have no musical talent. Though. <laughs> That's a great story, Harry. Thank really you good. for that. That is really cool. cool.